Hi. Hi, Matthew. Yes. I'm Allison. I'm going to be your nurse today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We are going to be doing a focused respiratory assessment, and I will be uh, listening to your lungs, looking at your chest, uh, touching your chest. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. If at any time I am touching you and there's something that's sore, please let me know. Okay. All right. I'm going to look around and I, making sure no cords that um, are going to be a tripping hazard, that everything is, is safe. All right, so um, with my stethoscope and go ahead and clean off this. So, Matthew, do you um, have any shortness of breath? No. Or how about a cough? None. Okay, great. Do you have a history of smoking? No. So I am going to start out by looking at your chest. I'm looking for symmetry. I'm looking for color. I'm looking for effort of breathing, for any obvious masses or any um, obvious um, physical uh, structural uh, abnormalities. So I'm going to just touch you. I'm palpating for any masses, tenderness, anything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to palpate your trachea. Can you swallow for me? Okay, your trachea is midline. Good. All right, so I'm going to just turn you slightly here. So, And I'm looking at the same. I'm looking for effort of breathing, for any masses or spinal um, abnormalities, and there are none. For any masses um, or tenderness. Okay. So I'm going to now place my hands around the 10th rib with my thumbs about two inches apart. Can you take a deep breath for me? And I'm noticing that my hands are moving symmetrically. One more. And equally apart, and that's what you want to see. I'm now going to touch you, and when I do, if you could say 99, please. 99, 99, 99. 99, 99, 99. Okay, great. And that is tactile fremitus, and what we are feeling for is vibrations, and they are equal, and I can feel the vibrations every time he says 99. If I couldn't, it would make me think maybe there's fluid in the lungs or a mass or something like that. So that's all good. You can do that anteriorly or posteriorly. Um, I'm going to now go ahead and Listen to your lungs. I'm going to just start with you posteriorly since this is the way you're sitting. And we're going to follow the same pattern as we did for palpation. Just um, if you take a deep breath when my stethoscope touches you, and if you get lightheaded, just raise your hand and we'll take a break. Lungs are clear bilaterally. I don't hear any adventitious breath sounds like crackles or rails or wheezing. I would also um, turn, uh, listen anteriorly. I'm not going to have him do the deep breath breaths right now, but I want to show you my stethoscope placement. And. It's important to remember your anatomy and physiology of, of the lungs. There's three lobes on the right, there's two on the left, and so you want to keep that in mind as you're listening. Um, do you have any questions for me? No. Any concerns? No. Okay. Well, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, listen for your respiratory rate, and you can do this either with the vital signs when you first start your assessment, or you can do this when you're auscultating. The best thing to do is to listen and not have them take deep breaths, but just breathe normally. And you would use your second hand. You can count for 15 seconds, multiply times four. You can do this when they're breathing regularly. 
and through my inspection I would be looking at skin color, any cyanosis, any rhubarb, anything like that. Um, all right, well, I am going to go document our assessment. The call bell's here. If you need anything, please just give me a call. Mm -hmm. All right.